Welcome to AlgebraClass.com. In this lesson, we will solve two step equations. We're going to take a look at the equation x divided by 2 minus 4 equals negative 10. Our goal is to get the variable, which is x, by itself on one side of the equation. Therefore, I need to get rid of the minus 4 and the 2, and this is going to require two different steps. The first thing that we want to get rid of is the minus 4 because it's the constant in the problem, meaning that it's not associated with the variable. To begin, we're going to bring down the left-hand side of the equation, which is x divided by 2 minus 4, and I'm going to leave a blank because I must do something to get rid of the minus 4. I'm also going to bring down the right-hand side of the equation, which is equals negative 10, and I'm going to leave another blank because whatever I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other side of the equation in order to keep the equation balanced. So now, we have x divided by 2 minus 4. What can I do to get rid of minus 4? Remember, we want to use inverse operations or opposite operations. The opposite of minus 4 is plus 4. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides of the equation. We do this because negative 4 plus 4 is 0. That means that it's eliminated. So we're left with x divided by 2 on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we're left with negative 10 plus 4. Well, negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. Now I have only the 2 to worry about and to get rid of. So now I need to ask myself, how am I, how am I going to get rid of the 2? This is x divided by 2. And again, I want to use opposite operations. So the opposite of divide is to multiply. Therefore, I'm going to multiply by 2 on both sides. Now on the left-hand side, I did put the 2 over 1 to make it a fraction so that it becomes easier to multiply by x divided by 2. We now have 2 times x divided by 2. Notice how we have 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator. These will simplify to 1. And 1 times x is just x. Therefore, I'm left with x on the left-hand side, and negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. So I end up with an answer of x equals negative 12. Now we can check this answer as well by substituting negative 12 back into the original problem. The original problem is x divided by 2 minus 4 equals negative 10. So I can substitute negative 12 for x and bring down the rest of the problem. Now I need to evaluate. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. So I have negative 6 minus 4 equals negative 10. I'm going to use my keep change change rule because this is a subtraction problem and I'm dealing with integers. So keep negative 6, change this to plus, and this to negative. So negative 6 plus negative 4 is negative 10 and I end up with negative 10 equals negative 10. Since this is a true statement, that means that my answer of negative 12 is correct. And that completes example number four.